The key to all of your Logic Pro questions has been right under your nose this entire time. That key is the question mark key. I'm about to show you three shortcuts that are essential to learning this DAW. Basically, Apple has dedicated this key and the shortcuts around it to help you answer your questions. The first shortcut, shift question mark. This opens the quick help view. The quick help view shows you a short description of anything that your mouse happens to be hovering over in Logic. I found this to be incredibly useful when I first started using the DAW because there are all kinds of features and ways of doing things that you have no idea what they are, you don't know what you're looking at. But having a little description in the top left corner makes it a lot easier to figure out what you're doing and get to making music. For example, the first time I used the step sequencer I was in a session and I knew how to use it but I didn't know what these buttons did. And as soon as I hit shift question mark and found out that you could rotate the rows in the step sequencer, it immediately sparked ideas. I started moving my hi-hat pattern around and hearing it change in real time was so cool and it gave me a super inspiring new way to generate ideas. I think most people underestimate the quick help view because it's there when you first open the DAW and it kind of looks like something you want to just hide and you want to get to making music. But truthfully, if you use a shortcut like this to show and hide it, it becomes a very convenient resource for getting quick answers. Now the next shortcut, command question mark. This goes a little bit deeper. Similar to the quick help menu, it operates based off whatever your mouse is hovering over. If you don't know how something works, just hover over it with your mouse and hit command question mark. And just like that, there's an in-depth description of what it is, how it works, and the best way to use it. But not just that. If you notice this little icon up here, you press this button, and you quickly realize you are in the Logic Pro menu. If you're reading this quick view based off of whatever you were looking at, and there's some concepts you don't understand yet because it's something deeper and you don't really know what you don't know, go up here and scroll through. You're going to find a quick overview that's going to help you understand what you're looking at. This is probably the best way to access the manual. Like when I say, read the friggin' manual, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't have to mean scanning the entire document and learning things before you encounter them in the wild. Truthfully, it's easier to digest information when it serves as a means to an end. So whenever you don't know what you're looking at, then it's time to read the fucking manual. Remember the question mark key. Lastly, command shift question mark brings you straight to the help drop down. This one's big. Right off the bat, you have quick access to resources that help you get started in the DAW, even a hidden option that turns the quick help menu into bubbles beneath your cursor. Which, it's weird, but honestly it's kind of growing on me. Thankfully you can still use shift question mark to toggle it on and off, otherwise this is just a really irritating way to work. I can see really liking this though, it just keeps your focus at whatever you're looking at. Now the real reason you want quick access to the help drop down is for this very powerful text field right here. It's powerful for two reasons. First, for help topics. Whatever you type in, Logic gives you a bank of excerpts from the manual that might help you with whatever you're looking for. This is great because it covers topics and things that you can't hover your cursor over because you don't even know where to put your cursor. Just type it up in the help dropdown and the help topics will usually give you a starting point. It's also great because this opens the same exact menu as command question mark, which is, once again, the Logic manual. Second, and this is a big one, instant access to each of these drop-down menus. As soon as you start typing in this field, Logic points you directly to whatever menu item matches your search. Never again do you have to click on the drop-down, go to Project Alternatives, realize you actually want to go to Project Management to hit Consolidate. Never again. Instead, Command Shift question mark, start typing, down arrow, enter, and you're there. Every time. This is indispensable. This is far and away the quickest way to get access to any of the functions in these dropdowns. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised how few people know about this. What's really crazy is that this works for literally any app you're running on Mac OS. Honestly, this is probably my most used shortcut across all apps. It's just the easiest way, especially if you don't know which dropdowns to go through. I find all that super tedious, and no matter what I'm doing, it's annoying. So this is the quickest way to navigate, especially if you don't really know the lay of the land yet. Quick story time about this shortcut. The engineer that told me about it uh, does a lot of scoring sessions. He's big in film, dealing with a lot of people in the session at once. I mean, like orchestras sometimes. And he said if his assistant engineer was ever at the computer clicking through drop downs to find something, fired immediately. Just too slow, too many people's time at stake. 
and uh, you have to be on your mark. So there's, there's that. It's very quick. So there you go. These three shortcuts are the quickest way to access Logic Pro's manual. It's baked into the user interface, and it's honestly pretty well crafted. It's like Apple dedicated the question mark key to answering all your questions. So I think that's pretty cool. That's it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to go over, and I'll see you next time. Peace.